Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22631.2199. And this build has a few other improvements, fixes and changes related to Windows 11 23H2. So if you want to see all that, make sure to watch this full video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, if you want to learn more about how the beta channel works and why there are two different builds you can check out the article below in the video's description because there you'll find a full explanation of that first of all in this build microsoft is adding the native support for reading additional archive formats inside the beta channel and of course within those is the .rar .7z and so on i think that is pretty nice and also note that encrypted archives are currently not supported so we have to wait a bit until encrypted archives are supported in the beta channel regarding the start menu we have the same fix for the reach thumbnail previews and basically files that do not have rich thumbnail previews that can be provided will no longer show a blank preview area. This is part of the work for rich thumbnail previews tool tips for cloud files on start that began rolling out with the build 22631.2129. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, we have some news related to the never combined taskbar mode and basically you can now turn on never combined mode on the taskbar by right clicking on the taskbar then choosing taskbar settings and on taskbar behavior simply adjust combined taskbar buttons and high labels to never and Microsoft provides a separate setting for turning this on for other taskbars, multiple monitor scenarios for example. In this build we also have some improvements related to the narrator app and if you want to check all those out you can go into the article below in the video description but basically these are some improvements that will improve the overall user experience inside the narrator app. Related to the settings app, the end task feature under system and for developers no longer requires developer mode to be enabled first before it can be used and also under settings and personalization and then device usage, Microsoft added development to the list and toggling it on will launch Dev Home. This matches what is shown in OOB, the out-of-the-box experience. Also, the snipping tool app has been updated to have some new additional options. For example, if I'm going to make a screenshot here and then open this up with the snipping tool, we're going to notice a new button here, which will allow me to fastly edit this and paint. And also, if I'll do a recording very fast and then open it in snipping tool, you'll notice that we have also a button editing clip jam for videos. Now, let's talk about a few fixes in this build related to taskbar and system tray. Microsoft fixed an issue causing app icons in the taskbar to not be able to move and start overlapping once you tried to do this in the previous slide. They also fixed an issue causing the safely remove hardware icon to not appear when expected in the system tray. And they also fixed an issue where the end task feature wasn't working if you tried it when there were multiple windows open of that app. They also fixed an issue where using end task on certain apps would cause other unrelated apps to close. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft has done some work to improve the performance of our archive functionality doing compression on Windows. Related to input, they also fixed an issue causing typing with the Japanese and Chinese IMEs to not work correctly after the latest flights for some insiders. We also have a lot of fixes for the narrator app, but you can check that out in the article below in the video's description. Regarding HDR wallpaper, they fixed an issue where your HDR wallpaper might appear washed out, although HDR was enabled. And they also fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to select .jxl files for your wallpaper slideshow. And finally, related to the task manager, they updated the summary view for the performance page that you see when double clicking the graphs in the navigation pane to make the window smaller. I think that is really nice. Of course, there are also fixes for both builds inside the beta channel that were released, but you can also check that out in the article below. And you can also check out the known issues for this build, but I have to note a known issue because I think that is pretty important. Basically, we have Windows Update and the check for updates button doesn't appear as expected inside the settings app, which is pretty funny in my opinion. And of course, this will be fixed in a later build, but to manually check for updates, you can open the Windows terminal and enter the following command, which is USO client start interactive scan and then press enter and this should have the same effect as clicking on the check for updates button inside windows update and as you can see it's doing it right now and uh, this is a workaround for this uh, pretty weird problem or known issue in this build so basically this is all there is to it to the latest beta channel build i hope you like this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was about from tech base until next time have a nice day